Welcome to our channel map to immigrate. Work visas in Switzerland. You may need a visa if you come to Switzerland for work purposes and you will definitely need a residence permit if you stay in the country for more than three months. This guide to the Switzerland work visa covers the following topics. Working in Switzerland. Who needs a work visa for Switzerland? The Switzerland work visa. Requirements for a Swiss work visa. How to apply for a Swiss work visa. Work visa costs in Switzerland. Swiss work visa length. Work permits in Switzerland. Types of Swiss work permits. Getting your permit. Switzerland work visas for students. Work visas in Switzerland for self-employed freelancers and entrepreneurs. Work visas in Switzerland for seasonal temporary workers. Volunteering and work experience in Switzerland. Switzerland work visas for family members. Appeals and complaints about work visas in Switzerland. Working in Switzerland. Switzerland has one of the world's strongest economies and it boasts a highly skilled workforce. However, the Swiss government strictly controls the number of workers coming into the country. In recent years, the government has reduced the number of Switzerland work visas issued to those from outside the European Union, EU, and the European Free Trade Association, FTA, which consists of Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway and Switzerland. The Swiss immigration authorities have also tightened application practices, such as closer scrutiny of applications, increased salary requirements and stricter extension rules. Only those who meet the conditions or work in a shortage industry usually get a Swiss work visa. There were around 1.7 million foreign workers in Switzerland at the end of 2019. That accounts for roughly 20% of the national workforce. Many work in high-skilled jobs in leading sectors such as banking, pharmaceuticals and food retail. The quotas for Swiss work visas for 2021 are 8500 permits for non-EU FTA nationals, 4500 long-term B permits and 4000 short-term L permits, 3500 permits for British workers, 2100 long-term B permits and 1400 short-term L permits. The State Secretariat for Migration, SM, in Switzerland is responsible for Swiss visas and immigration, although the local cantonal migration offices issue residence permits and deal with much of the administration. Who needs a work visa for Switzerland? Switzerland operates a dual system when it comes to the right to seek employment in the country, with rules depending on whether or not you are an EU FTA citizen. Although Switzerland is not a member of the EU, it is part of the EFTA and thus grants freedom of movement to those from EU EFTA countries. EU FTA citizens can freely enter Switzerland and look for work without a visa. They can stay for three months, sometimes extended to six months, while looking for work. If they find a job that means they will stay in Switzerland for longer than three months, they must get a Swiss residence permit. Rules are slightly different for Croatian citizens. Non-UFTA nationals will need to obtain a Switzerland work visa before coming to Switzerland. You will need to first have a job offer from a Swiss employer. In addition to this, you will need to meet other requirements such as being highly qualified. Exceptions to this rule are students and family members of sea settlement permit holders. Students can work a certain number of hours while studying on a student visa while certain relatives of Swiss residents can work on their Swiss family visa. For more information, see our guides on studying in Switzerland or moving to Switzerland to join a partner, the Switzerland work visa. Switzerland is different from many European countries in that you need to have a residence permit before you apply for your entry visa for work purposes. Your prospective employer applies for the permit on your behalf, see below section. This means that you need to have a job in place before making your Swiss visa application. The Switzerland work visa is the Schengen category D visa for stays of more than 90 days. Requirements for a Swiss work visa. To be eligible for a work visa in Switzerland, you will need to meet the following requirements. Have a job offer in place in Switzerland. Be either a manager, specialist or highly qualified worker, i.e. have degree level qualifications and several years of professional experience. You are applying at a time when annual work permit quotas are not full. There is nobody available in Switzerland or any EU FTA country for the job. Your job offer has the same salary and work conditions that would apply to a Swiss resident. 
For many jobs, authorities consider additional criteria such as language skills, ability to integrate into Swiss society, criminal record and ability to support yourself and any family members joining you. How to apply for a Swiss work visa? Once you have found a job in Switzerland, your employer applies to the immigration authority at their local Swiss canton for your work permit. This gives you the right to live and work in Switzerland. The application is then sent for approval to the SAM. You can begin your application for your Switzerland work visa through the Swiss Embassy or Consulate in your home country as soon as you have found a job. However, you must have a work permit before your visa is granted. If your work permit application is successful, the Cantonal Migration Authority will contact the Embassy Consulate with visa clearance. In addition to submitting your visa application form, you must provide photocopy of your passport or valid travel ID, proof of your job offer, e.g. an offer letter, copy of the employment contract, your CV and copies of educational and work qualifications in German, French, Italian or English, translated by an official translator if necessary. The visa application usually takes around 8-10 weeks to process. Work visa costs in Switzerland. A Category D visa currently costs CHF 88. You may have to pay extra, up to 50% above the standard price, if you need the visa fast-tracked or outside of normal working hours. You'll have to pay along with the application. Swiss work visa length. Swiss work visas are usually valid for one to five years. If you are working on a short, fixed-term contract of 12 months or less, you will probably be given a non-renewable L permit for one year. For contracts lasting longer than 12 months, you get a B permit, which can be renewed each year. After 10 years in Switzerland, or 5 years if you're from the EU, EFTA, the United States or Canada, you can apply for a settlement permit if you want to. You cannot enter Switzerland as a tourist and then take on work. If you want to work, you must leave Switzerland and then apply from your home country. Work permits in Switzerland. Your work permit in Switzerland is essentially your residence permit. This differs from your work visa, which is the document you need to enter Switzerland and present to border control. Whereas you are responsible for making your visa application, your Swiss employer applies to the cantonal migration authorities for your work permit. Types of Swiss work permits. Foreign workers in Switzerland needing a work visa will be issued one of two types of permit. Permit L for a short-term residence permit that allows you to stay in Switzerland for up to one year. The L permit is tied to the terms of the employment contract and may be extended in exceptional cases for a further year, but no more if you continue to work for the same employer. Permit B. This is an initial or temporary residence permit that is valid for one year but can be extended annually as long as there are no grounds for it not to be reissued, e.g. being a recipient of welfare benefits. These permits are issued on a quota basis and are tied to the same employer. The permits often specify that you live in the canton that issued the permit and cannot move out of that canton. If you have lived in Switzerland for 10 continuous years, or 5 if you are a US or Canadian citizen, you can apply for a Permit C, which is a settlement permit. Those who work in Switzerland long term on a B permit often move to a C permit when they become eligible. However, this is not mandatory. For more information, see our guide to Swiss citizenship. Getting your permit. Although your employer sorts out your Swiss permit before you arrive in Switzerland, you will need to report to the cantonal immigration office that issued your permit before you start working for your Swiss employer and no later than 14 days after your arrival. You are typically responsible for renewing your permit if necessary with the cantonal authorities. You should do this no later than two weeks before the expiry date. Work permit costs vary between cantons but are typically around CHF 160. Employers in Switzerland sometimes agree to cover permit costs, appeals and complaints about work visas in Switzerland. If you are refused a Switzerland work visa for any reason and are unhappy with the decision, you should contact the Swiss Embassy or Consulate in your home country within 30 days and provide them with details of your complaint. If the Embassy or Consulate is unable to provide you with a satisfactory answer, you can contact the SEM, the Swiss authorities who deal with Swiss visas and permits. You will need to pay an advance on costs of CHF 200. If SEM rejects your appeal, your final option is the Federal Administrative Court. You should file your appeal within 30 days. Send your appeal along with any supporting evidence to Federal Administrative Court. 
P.O. Box Postfac 9023 St. Gallen. See information about submitting your appeal electronically on the Federal Administrative Court's website. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our Map to Immigrate channel for more videos exploring the latest advancements and insights in the latest news. For more information contained in the content of this video www.expatica.com